Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Dorsha. It's your girl, Dorsha. I have for you a special treat, a hashtag one dish. Yes, where I teach you how to make exactly one dish. That dish could be a side or it could be the main dish, but I'm teaching you how to make one dish. So today I'm going to teach you how to make a creamy bean soup with sausage. Creamy bean soup with sausage. So before we get into this video, if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. And if you are subscribed, please turn on the notification bell so that you'll know when new content has been posted. So let's get into this. I'm gonna get into some um, items that you're gonna need in order to make this. I am going to use my Dutch oven. You see this beautiful Dutch oven? I have two of them and um, they are very heavy. <laughs> They're very heavy. I don't want to have to lift it up again. I got that off of Amazon. You can do likewise. I love the color. You need you a nice little chopping knife. Let's get into the ingredients. Beans. It's called creamy beans with sausage soup. Well, creamy bean soup with sausage. Um, I have a dark kidney bean and a white kidney bean. Yes. Now, this is Publix. You know, normally I do great value, but Publix gets love too. Kielbasa. Is it upside down? Are you saying it right? Kielbasa. Have some carrots, onions. You can also put um, pepper, um, bell pepper in there, but I'm choosing not to. I have some fresh parsley from my herb garden and some fresh sage from my herb garden salt and pepper some milk four cups of milk that's like a big thing of milk whiskashire sauce and some flour okay now also the white kidney beans are cannellini you ever seen that before they're white kidney beans you can just do um, two of these if you want to, or you can do two of the other ones, whatever. Um, I believe that the red is actually gonna give it some um, color, which is nice. And I'm gonna get right to it, and we're gonna whip this up. All together, this should take about 30 minutes, okay? So this is not gonna be, uh, this is not going to be um, belaboring, and you should be able to have some good, creamy, bean soup with sausage uh, and I'm also going to make some cornbread but you'll see that in another video because I'm making sweet potato cornbread mmm doesn't that sound good okay well let's get into it <music>
I wanted to go over a couple of things because I had some technical faux pas that happen. Um, when you add the milk, you let it thicken to the point of boiling. Um, and then you add your kidney beans. Now, for each of them, make sure that you drain them and you rinse them and then you put them in there. And I also want to let you know there are some other shortcuts that you can take to this recipe. For example, in the supermarket, they already have onions that are chopped. They already have garlic that is minced or pressed. So you can do that. Um, likewise, I just so happen to use an excessive amount of garlic and I like it fresh. I think it's a little bit more robust. So anyway, but there are some shortcuts and you don't have to feel pressured. Now you can use dried sage. I just so happen to have sage in my herb garden outside. So that's what I went with. So you're under no pressure. This is a no pressure zone. Okay. Just make something different and delicious for your family and, and let it do what it do. Okay. So anyway, it's going to be simmering for 15 minutes and then I'll come back and let you take a look at it and let you know what it tastes like. Hey guys, so our soup is done. You want to take a look? Mmm, creamy bean soup with sausage. So now here's the moment of truth. And this is just fresh parsley from my garden. But look how rich this is. And you see how hot that is also? Mmm. Oh, that's... is hot honey <laughs> mm. wait a minute I have to make sure that that was exactly what I tasted so let me make sure I have some sausage in here this is so hot but I promise you it is good. Mm. Mm. This right here, you have to make this. We're in fall, getting ready to go into winter. Well, we just entered fall, but we're about to go into winter. It doesn't matter. You can have soup all year round, but do not rob yourself of the opportunity to be able to taste this soup right here. You understand what I'm saying? Mmm, this is so delicious. And let me tell you something. People garnish stuff because they think it looks cute, but this parsley, it actually adds flavor. This is so delicious. Mmm. So, you know what to do. Like share because on youtube sharing is caring okay until next time hashtag one dish hashtag cooking with dorsha and i'll see you soon